if you have a 2021 16 inch M1 Pro or M1 Max MacBook and you have this weird issue where you open it, the touchpad's not working, the screen, nothing's coming on, um, you plug it in and you can hear the charging and you see this, but the mouse doesn't work, you see the screen comes on and then it shuts off immediately, there's a good chance it might not actually be your screen or the motherboard, logic board, anything like that. It might actually be the lid angle sensor, okay? So one way you check to find that out is we're gonna open this up using a T5, or sorry, not a T5, P5 or Pentalub 1.2 screwdriver. We're gonna remove the screws, keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. I do that by putting them flat side down like that in the pattern I remove them. Okay, so we'll go ahead and remove all these screws. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually disconnect the lid angle sensor. I'm gonna have to be quick here because this is a short. It has to be within three minutes. I don't know if I can do it within three minutes, but we'll see. Okay, we'll remove all these screws. Originally, the customer said they spilled liquid on this. I took the entire motherboard logic board out. And yeah, that, that was no fun, but it turns out none of the board, nothing had liquid on it. The issue was still there. And let's see if I can show you what happened. So now that we got that, we're gonna go ahead and pop this cover off. Go under there, go down the side and pull it up. Go on the other side, same thing. That, pull it up. We're gonna get the bottom cover off. Push this down, pull this down. Okay, sorry, I don't know what I'm recording. There we go, that. And then same thing over here. Get that out, set that aside. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this little connector here. So let's go ahead and take a look here, right? We're gonna be using um, a P3 or Pentalobe, sorry, not a P3, a T3 Torx 3 screwdriver. We're gonna undo these two screws. Just take those out, okay? Be very careful because the battery is connected and it's on. We're gonna remove this little metal piece and we're just gonna flip this little connector out. So that's the lid angle sensor. Now that we turn this on, you can see it's working fine. So if you do that and your MacBook works fine, then you know it's the lid angle sensor. You'll need to use a P5, uh, sorry, a P2 or Pentalobe 0.8 screwdriver. Undo this one little screw right here, okay? It's super tiny. It's not gonna be done within three minutes, I don't think, but you're gonna have to get a replacement of this. So take this P3 screw out. Once you get that P3, sorry, P2 screw out, Pentalobe 0.8, you can basically put another one of these in and that should solve your issue. Hopefully it helped. Thanks for watching. I know this is a really rare case. It's probably only going to happen if you happen to spill water right in this corner up here somewhere, like right in this back corner of the screen, the left side. But yeah, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.